Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a solution for five common roadblocks. So people try to do some stuff and they cannot really figure it out on their own and they need to set it on forums, put it in Google, on YouTube. So I get a data from some of those search engines. And today we're going to talk about those five things that people tend to type in and search for help. And they're not really hard to do things, simply they're not easy to figure it out in the interface. That's why people need to go outside and search for solutions. So the first thing people tend to type in is a thing designer at Artboard. So how can we quickly add Artboard and there's a dedicated tool on the tool panel? Maybe that's why people got troubles with that because they search in the layer panel or is the new artboard button? It's over here at the very top of the tool panel. There's an artboard tool. When you click this insert artboard for the very first time, you're kind of unlocking the feature. I already did that. So when I click it right now, I will get a brand new artboard. Take a look. I click it again, again and again, and I'm getting artboards. Of course, you can add artboard in different size. And you can even draw custom artboards. You can modify different sizes. You can move them all around as you please. Keep in mind you can reorder artboards here in the layer panel. And this way you will reorder them as pages. Because if I export this whole thing now as PDF, each artboard will be a separate page. All right, we can of course delete those artboards. So if you select artboards you don't need, you can hit delete on your keyboard or here in the layer panel. All right, so that's how you can manage your artboards. What's next? Another popular search term nowadays is Affinity Designer AI. And sorry to brief you this way, but there's no AI in Affinity Designer. Right now, they introduce some machine learning selections, finally, in Affinity Photo. But directly in a designer, there's nothing AI related. We cannot generate stuff with AI. We cannot even select stuff with AI. We cannot vectorize with AI. So that's why people search for it because they cannot see AI anywhere in the interface. And some people assume, oh, I just cannot find it. It must be somewhere. And unfortunately, that's not, not the case. There's hope for AI that because now I think it's owned by Canva. So Maybe in the future they will kind of integrate that. All right, I'm pretty designer blur. It's pretty easy to blur stuff in designer because this is one of the properties on the layer panel. So if you got an object like this little square, if you head here to the layer panel that affects FX, there's actually a special effect called Gaussian blur that you can apply from here. And this way you can blur text or vector elements like that. Keep in mind, Designer is two-in-one program, so we can always switch to Pixel Persona. When you'll be able to find more options to blur, this time more like raster focus. So if there are raster images and you are in the Pixel Persona, you've got additional options to blur this. There's actually dedicated blur tool here on the tool list. So here's another option of blurring stuff more in the raster editing manner with this blur tool here in the pixel persona or simply with those layer effects. Okay, so yeah, definitely we can blur stuff in designer. I think designer background transparent, that's what you guys search for. And by default, you got white color in your artboards but it's very easy to change that to transparency, the very familiar checkerboard, huh? Be sure you click outside, somewhere around, so nothing selected, and then you will see document setup at the top. Select that, and then in color tab, there is a transparent backdrop option. You, we just need to turn it on and okay. And now instead of this default white, we got this familiar transparent checkerboard. So if you plan to export your graphics as PNGs with transparent backdrop, that's maybe a good call. Or maybe you simply feel more comfortable working with this transparency checkerboard. 
All right. Number five, the last one, AV Designer Animation. There's no animation tab. We cannot animate directly in Designer. What I like to do, I like to export different elements as SVGs or PNGs and then animate that in some kind of third party software. So that's kind of the only option right now. So let's quickly summarize those popular how to help searches from you guys. So artboard tool, it's over here. Second tool on the list, you can add as many artboard as you can. I think at some point you will crash the program, but I managed to export projects with around 100 artboards successfully. Okay, then AI, non-existence. We made a small improvement in version 2.6. That's for photo. They add some kind of AI selections there. So there is a hope. I think it's in the blur. Pretty easy. As I mentioned, the most popular way is to blur from this layer effect, but there's also a dedicated blur tool in Pixel Persona. Transparent backdrop can be achieved simply by changing some document setup. In colors, you just turn it on and off. And the last one for people that plan to animate elements in Designer, unfortunately, you will need some kind of third party program. For that, you cannot do it directly here. All right, I hope you enjoy those quick questions and answers. I'm going to explore a few more problems and give you quick solutions for them in part two. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.